Hey guys, it's Asher with Better Belief Fit. So my day is done. I'm at home and I wanted to share with you our interval fitness workout from today because, well, I worked them up one side and down the other and I really enjoyed it. We did heavy dumbbell work. The option is yours. Um, we're going to go through, I got my little paper down here. We're going to go through um, five moves for the right side, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. And then if you need to take a break before switching sides, that's fine. Or you're just going to set your timer for 10 rounds, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Once you get through the first five, you're going to repeat them on the other side. So I'm just going to demo the five moves that we're using. And then you can rock it out. So today in class, we did right side, left side, 10 moves all together. And then they went up to the track and they ran two laps and we did this three times. So listen, if you want to get the same effect and the same calorie burn and get your metabolism and all that stuff going, um, you don't have a track to run around. You can set your timer an extra round and do 45 seconds to a minute of a cardio move. You can do anything. You could do jumping jacks. You could do mountain climbers. You could do jump squats. You could do burpees. Anything you want. All right, you get ready. Get your dumbbell. I have a 20-pound kettlebell and a 25-pound dumbbell. All right, so here we go. Our first move, I'm going to do everything on the right side for you guys. And then you're going to switch it over after you get through the first five moves. Dumbbell snatch. It's a power move, guys, so go heavy. The whole reason for this move is when you take that dumbbell, you're going to take it straight up and power, pow, to the top and return it straight down to the bottom. Use your core, use your legs, power it up. It's a full body movement, and I want you to rock these out. So you're going to see, power up and down, up, good. Keep the core tight. All right, first move. Whew, just those few got my heart rate up. Awesome. All right, now you're going to switch. You can go lighter, use that 20 pound kettlebell, or you can stick with the 25 pounds. Right arm only. You're going to have your dumbbell at shoulder. You're going to squat down and you're going to press. Squat and press. Good. 45 seconds, people. Resting 15 seconds. Get yourself set up. You're gonna give me a bent over row. So use that other leg, support yourself. Nice, long, flat back, core pulled in nice and tight. And you're gonna pull and squeeze as you're working. Heavy move. So really squeeze at the top. You've got your bent over row. Okay, next we're gonna take it to a wood chop all to the right side the entire 45 seconds so this is what i tell my class members when you are doing a wood chop you're going to start central tight core chest lifted soft knees and you are going to drive it down beside your thigh put the brakes on as soon as you get to your thigh and then you're going to pull it up contracting your abs using your force okay stopping pulling all this work is going to be going on right here Heart rate's going to be rising. Okay, 45 seconds. You're going to go down, up, chop, up, soft knees. Good. Like you're rowing a boat through the mud. Come on, stop it, pull it up. Awesome. All right, last move of the five moves. We're going to do a squat and a lunge. You can hold your weight wherever you want. Your right leg is gonna be your lunging leg. So today, when we were doing this, I let my arm hang down. I did a squat and then I set back. So I just had that weight out of the way. Nice deep squat, nice low lunge. Good. All right, look at me, I'm already out of breath. <laughs> so look, those are your five moves. 45 seconds on the right side, switch it up, same moves on the left side. Do your cardio, whether it's running or your cardio move of choice. You don't even need to do the cardio. Run through this. You can go one, two, three times, however many times you've got in you. Use your core, power through it, and tell me what you think of this workout after you finish it. Have a good weekend. Bye.